What is going on guys? Today we are taking a look at the February cosmetic set for Ashes of Creation. But before we get into this, if you enjoy this video, be sure to click on that subscribe button and turn on the bell for notifications. Also, if you are interested in Ashes of Creation at all, be sure to check out my referral link in the description below. Sticking with the theme of Valentine's Day for February, this cosmetic set is said to be made for the Kalar by the Vec to help showcase their flair for the romantic, and these items definitely help with that. Kicking off the bundle with the Scarlet Remembrance Band, this rain has a heart-shaped crimson stone and silver rain making it very festive for a Valentine's Day rain. This Taltuff calf has long and sturdy legs made for hauling, which is why the Dunir dwarves look to these creatures to assist them. Trained early on to carry goods, starting with training with lighter gear to help build up their strength. This pet cosmetic skin will make a great companion to any race in Vera. Next is my all-time favorite mount so far, even though I feel like I've said that a few times now, but the Carmine Chameleon comes from deep within the caverns of Vera. They are known to camouflage themselves, blending into the environments they live in, such as the rubies in the caverns, explaining their crystallized look. To accompany your Taltuff calf is the Taltuff Patriarch, a full-grown Taltuff that Dunir uses to haul from their mind. The only rule is to never let these creatures separate from their calves. This Taltuff will help you transport your caravan from node to node, as this guy is a caravan cosmetic skin. If you ever feel like you need to roleplay as an elf and live in a giant tree, well, this freehold building will do the job for you. The Skindelarium was built by the Pyraeals, and the pink tree above the freehold is known to draw energy from the earth, known to be sacred and bless the union of its wearers. I'm sure it will also greatly stick out to other players in the game as they are questing along and see your giant pink freehold sticking out of the sky. And lastly, we have the Celebrants of the Rose. This costume skin is said to be worn for a wedding of Kaler nobility. This definitely isn't my favorite set overall that has been released, but it still has some pretty cool looking cosmetics in it, such as the mount and those Taltus. Let me know your favorite part of the set in the comments below. These cosmetics, like always, are available to purchase through various packages on the Ashes of Creation website. And the cheapest package granting you access to Beta 2, and the more expensive ones granting you keys all the way up to Alpha 2. You can check all of these out in the link below. Meanwhile, be sure to hit that thumbs up and stay tuned for a lot more to come.